Hello everybody, it's Shadow Slayer X, and it's been a while since uh, we've done an arena. Uh, yeah, so I picked up the um, the pre-order 50 things or whatever, um, or when the uh, new expansion comes out. But today we're going to do an arena. Uh, Mage, Shaman, Druid, Rogue. Mage, Shaman, Druid, Rogue. Mage, Shaman, Druid, Rogue. None of them. <laughs> Mage, Shaman, Druid, a Rogue. Well, the only 12 wins I've ever had was with a priest, so... I apologize for if people want to see more priest play and it's just not happening. So, um... Let's go with Melfiari. Okay, uh, so this is a great start. Keeper of the Grove, one of the best cards paired up against a card that can't use work well at all in druid and some people like gnomish experimenter i hate it keeper oh, wow we're getting really lucky here so far um mini mage okay not really great in druid echoing ooze can be good in druid but it's way too early to tell ancient of war awesome card we're picking it what is with the rarity so far we're gonna get all comments for the rest of this game uh, I'm leaning towards Echoing Ooze, but I really like Enhance of Meccano. I just wish I knew what the rest of the deck was like. But I think I'm going to pick it anyway. Uh, maybe not. Maybe we should go with Ooze. And then I can grab a buff, buff card. But I'd only want one buff card. Okay, we'll go Enhance of. Um... The choice here should be Jungle Panther, but my brain really wants Muckless Champion. I just love this card. Like, this is one of my new favorite cards, man. But it does lose you games sometimes. <sighs> and Jungle Panther's good. Ah! Boo! Okay. Um, all good choices. I think we're going to need a two drop right now. I think Senjin would win over a huge toad normally, but I'm going to go for the two drop. And it's a beast. Beast tag kind of matters. Uh, here we'll go with Frost Elemental. Oh, all good choices. But for me, it's between Claw and Argent Horse Rider. Um, I think I'm going to go with Argent. Argent's just so great. Oh, uh, Jeweled Scarab, Anodized Robocub. Robocub's one of the best two drops. It's a mech. Don't have any... I have one other mech. Flexible turn one is some... Or turn two is sometimes nice. But Jeweled Scarab, another one of my new favorites. Alright, but we'll, we'll go with the Robocub. What is with these people and giving me great choices? I think I'm going to lean towards Harvest Golem here, and then I'll have three mechs going on. Spellbreaker's a good choice too. Bone Guard Lieutenant's good as well. Hmm. I think I'm going to go Harvest Golem. And then I get some beast synergy just to throw me off. Got two beasts. It's not that great beast synergy. Bomb Lover's so much better, I think. And we don't have fives. Dealing four damage to a random enemy is so helpful. Questing is fine, but bomb lover is. Have we got mostly comments since? Yeah, well, two epics right away and a rare. Uh, here it's fairy dragon or evil heckler. Do I have any smaller taunts? Not really. I do prefer Sengen over evil heckler, but. I think I'm gonna go with evil. Alright, fossilized devil sore. Good card ish. I don't really have anything to combo it with. And I, I, by turn eight these these guys will be dead. So I mean yeah sure on turn seven you can drop one, but um I think it's the trog. Dark Iron Dwarf for sure. Has to beat out the others. 
Uh, here I'm actually thinking Bloodfin Raptor. Beast, I guess. Uh, I already have a Burly, I don't want another one. Silver Moon. I'm actually gonna get my Jeweled Scarab, yes! Uh, Gur Yeah, Gurubashi's best there. Swipe, obviously. Bluegill Warrior, Bloodsail Raider, or Anubisath? I'm thinking Anubisath. I, this is another card I really like, but it never sees much play. But I'm going to put it in. Because I think it'll fit okay. Another huge toad. Hungry Dragon or Dragon Kid Sorcery. Got no buffs. Hungry Dragon. It's a big gamble. If I think I'm in control, I think I'm going to play another huge toad. Argent Commander for sure beats these two. Silent Knight or Mech Yeti? I could use more threes, but Mech Yeti is just one of the best mechs. Ah, there we go. That's the three I need. I would go Senjin, but Mounted Raptor is something I could totally use. Acolyte does deserve some mention because I have no real card draw at all, I don't think. But Mounted's just too good to pass up. Ugh. Healing or Moonfire? I guess it could be used to heal the Gurubashi or the Ancient of War. That's about it. Or myself. Moonfire, I have no, no uh, spell power. Raid Leader's... Pr raid Leader or Healing Touch? It's probably going to be Raid Leader... Healing touch. Yeah. Ah, it's a raid leader. Alright. Tire's good. So is Earthen Ring. A lot of my guys. A lot of my four drops and up could be healed nicely. Because my two drops, besides the Robocub, these guys, these three will die. These four will die. Five will die. I could heal him. He'll die. You'll die. Yeah. Silence isn't too bad, but also Stranglethorn. But I have a lot of late game. Well, not a lot, but... You don't really count, you don't really count, and you guys do. But silence is so nice. I'm gonna go with the Silence. Wild Walker. This will actually benefit very well if I can have a huge toad or a blood fin live jungle panther mounted raptor but it's up against swamp ooze which is good against rogues warriors not that we see much warrior paladin it's good against how many one two three four five we could use it damn it we need the swamp ooze all right Ugh, these are terrible. All of them terrible. This is just as bad against me as it is other people. Ay, nothing to get a grim patron going, and Mogor is just sad. Is it, but how? Oh. This is terrible. I hate this. And it's a rare. It's my rare choice, too. It's these three. Um. Uh, flame juggler's good, or another jeweled scarab. I'm gonna go with flame juggler. Um, elven, eh, frigid. I only have swipe, so I think it's the tall strider. Thank God I could probably use that, but I'll be top decking so hard. I think I need acolyte. And the last card, a rare. Do I go for the Twilight Drake? I have this feeling I could be holding a lot of cards in my hand. But I like having this backup big, big guy. Yeah, let's go with 
back up this way. <laughs> How well do I think this arena deck can do? Honestly, uh, I'm not too optimistic. I want to say I can do well with it and get maybe like seven, but it's more realistic that this might go four or five. Okay, we're up against a hunter. That's not too bad. Tremble before the might of the elves. I must protect the wild. I think I'm gonna keep keeper. <sighs> Swampoose is not the best to get right away. Robocub would have been real nice. I got no extra mechs energy. That's kind of sad. That's why I lean toward a few mechs in the mid choice. Mind if I roll need? Oh, I'm gonna hear about that. Mounted Raptor is a great draw there. Got a multiple plays here. He coined that one out. Mind if I roll knee. Really? So far this game is starting at three mana. Don't know if I like that. This will only be good for me if he plays a two in the card. Alright, well. Can silence that, I guess. Doesn't matter if you silence or deal two damage, it'll have the same effect. Bomb Lumber is a great get. That sucks. Bomb Lumber deals with Bob Lobber. Bomb Lobber deals with it, but. Mm, yeah, it's not good. Nothing actually would have really been great there. Except for Huffer Face, I guess. This only gives me a minor tempo push. That's it? Hero Power? I will drop double threes on you. Oh. Wait, you went face? I don't like this. Okay, so I've got 10 damage on board, so he's got to start killing stuff while using his hero power or whatever plan he has. Well, I can easily kill that. Uh, the question is... So if I drop Raid Leader and Argent... That'd be... I could send the Rap... No, I could send Bomb Lobber and Argent in. Okay. Raid Leader? Of course we And I deliver 9 to his face. Her face. Good job, Raid Leader. Came through on game one. For now. I get wrecked with Unleash. Unleash plus something is really bad. You know, I could win right here if I drew uh, Enhanced Mechano. It is a possibility. Everyone gets Wind Fury. It's a possibility. Swipe would be okay too. Boo! Alright. Let yeah. us kill this. Go face. He would need some crazy combo to stop me now. What could he play? Let's see. 
Did I pick Spellbreaker? I did. I think. Yes, I did. What else could help me? Swipe. Jeweled Scarab. Why would you do that? That would help too. I think it's game over. See ya. Oh boy. Not bad. Usually I start okay. Go for the next one. Druid's not my best class either. That hunter just didn't have what he needed. Waiting for fossilized devil sore, right? And by that time my board was six minions strong, was it? Another hunter, okay. Let's see if this one shreks me. Um, good. I think I'll keep Mech Yeti. Okay, Spellbreaker. Hello. Hopefully I can use you to your full potential. I don't think I have anything I want to coin out on turn one against a hunter. That's unfortunate. I might actually coin it. Hey! I might coin out horse rider though. I don't really have a turn three unfortunately, but we can draw into one. Harvest Golem, Jungle Panther, Mounted Raptor, not Raid Leader. Give me a very minor tempo lead. So I have Argent Commander and Argent Horse Rider, that's pretty cool. Both the charge, Divine Shield minions. Animal Companion. Yes! Swampoos! I wasn't going to spend all three mana anyway, so... Yes! Dark Iron Dwarf, I love you. It's like almost top decking because it was like last turn. Good. Good, good, good. If he doesn't play anything scary, I can do the same thing as him. Jeweled Scarab. He's probably looking for uh, kill command, right? What else could be really great? Eagle Horn Bow? Kill Command. Called it. Okay. Now the question is... No, I'm gonna mount a drafter, never mind. I was gonna say, if I do that, I lose the momentum. The Jeweled Scarab play. Unless I picked up well, a good 3-drop. Three, three so, unless I picked up another mounted drafter and played that. Um, and there's too many neutral threes I could have gotten. Don't have any ones, good play. To my side. Scary. Now this might be a jeweled scare play. Or a silence, but silence does nothing. True to the flame. And Cobra is not too bad. Torn Warrior? Druid puts a 2-5 on the board. But I can also huge toad and hero power. And then I can save the, one of these for later. For the wild. Nice! Not too bad. 
We're still gonna get screwed if any big, big drops come down. And we get screwed if we place too many smaller cards. So what we're looking for is an inefficient mana play. That's sort of it, not really. It's getting hot in here. That sucks. Boo. First cue. Okay. He needs power shot, explosive shot, unleash the hounds. Um Dark Iron Dwarf, Abuse of Sergeant, Multi Shot. If I didn't I say that wonder. already. Raid Leader. Plenty of cards that he could use right here. Damn it. Oh. And he has Explorer's Hat too. That's not good. I'm gonna have to silence one of those explorer's hats, and it won't happen this turn. This is bad for me. If he's smart, I don't get access to it. Alright, so I have to drop... Oh, I could kill this big guy. That might be beneficial. I could drop Lost Tall no, I couldn't. Save card wait, wait, wait. I couldn't play anything else if I do this play. But then I get hit for at least seven, eight, nine. I must save Okay, so we're we're gonna deal two damage to that. Kill it. Okay, so I don't know how he's going to use that exp that explorer's hat, but hopefully we can survive it. It's, it looks real bad, and we're on turn nine too, so Kraken's a option. Hey Zoe, what's up, cat? Oh come on, Hunter. Can't, you can't have that many bad cards in your hand. Too much time. Oh, naturally. After I've played Keeper. Alright. Ooh, this is bad. This is <laughs> not good. Okay, well... I gotta drop a three, a four, and a two. I can't do that. What? No. Nature's right. And I'll take out the one one. In case he's got any beast synergy. This looks bad though. Maybe I should have dropped Lost Toss. No, because then I'd be committing to hitting him. He knows I have to sack in the two guys. This is bad for me. Ooh. Okay, I can get rid of the hat. But I have to hero power. Get rid of the hat. Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> okay, no, 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 no. Okay, we can freeze that. We have to hero power at basically every turn because I have to get the Raven Hole down next turn. I I pretty much lost this, but let's get Ooh. moving. Yeah, it's over. 
Ancient of War would save me. That's about it. Yeah, it's over. Well played. I can see. All right. Well, second game not so great. Bad starting for me. Okay, so we're still stuck at that. I guess this like wooden, coppery key. <laughs> All right. Um. After these first two games, my predictions I think are still going to be like four or five, honestly. Hopefully, if all goes according to plan. But uh, yeah, we'll just continue this in the next episode. So I've been Shadow Slayer X. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Donate if you're feeling generous. And as always, we'll see you next time. Peace.